cemetery it is a cemetery that um, holds a lot of history of the Civil War because many people who died in the Civil War or helped with the accomplice of the Civil War were on either side of the Civil War, like soldiers or saddle makers or maybe even poets or mothers. Um, they're all buried there and it's important for us to learn about the history of the Civil War through Missouri. One of the graves we visited was Henry Hitchcock's. Henry Hitchcock served on his death to General Sherman's army during his march to the seas through Georgia. His book, Marching with Sherman, explained how harshly Sherman treated his troops. Here's a video of Mr. Hitchcock. Legacy! During his book, Mr. Hitchcock brought the idea to the public that Captain Sherman was being harsh to all of his soldiers. We also went to William Wary's grave. William Wary was a member of General Lines' troops. When he was killed, William was the one to snap the soldiers back into their senses because they were grieving so much. Here's a reenactment. No! No! <laughs> Stop crying like a child! We're soldiers! We have to get past this! Next we visit Charles Jake's grave. Jake is Jake was on the Missouri Constitutional Convention of 1865. He helped write what is known as Jake's Constitution. Constitution. Here is a poem about More than a vice of the Missouri Constitution <laughs> Convention, he was a radical Republican. Senator Charles Jake was an awesome man. James Eads was the first engineer of Eads Bridge. We visited his grave next. When Eads was finally paid, he sent his earnings to the Confederate victims. He considered the war in a criss contest between brothers. Here is what his quote means and in reenactment. James Eads' quote about brothers fighting basically means that two parts of the United States were separated and they were fighting against each other. So they were basically like brother, brothers, the same country, fighting against each other. Thornton Grimsley's grave was hard to find. Thornton was a saddle maker for the Union Army. His company did more work for the government than any other company in the country. Here's a video about how saddles were important back then. Back then, horseback was the main way that people got around, so saddles were like a big thing. It's as if today, cars, you could buy different accessories for them, like steering wheel covers. Basically, that's what a saddle is. I think going to Bellefontaine Cemetery was a very educational experience. I enjoyed learning about the people from the Civil War who were buried here. I also enjoyed spending time with my friends. It was great.